All right, sir. Welcome back. Uh, it's now time to take a look at the front pages of our national dailies. And um, to help do justice to the analysis in the house this morning, we have um, uh, Mustafa Isa, head of news, uh, Lagos, head of news, news 24. Yes. Welcome, Mustafa Isa. Uh, David, good morning. Uh, once again, uh, Zika, good morning. Good morning. So good to have you. So let's, let's begin with uh, uh, the Punch newspaper. Uh, major headline, repentant terrorist to enjoy foreign education. Um, that's coming from the Senate bill. It comes with two riders, uh, UBEC, TED Fund to fund rehabilitated insurgents agency. Buhari called seven months after Lee Sharibu's abduction. That's coming from the mother. Uh, uh, pretty sad stories we have here. And just below the picture of the day there, what do we have? Tears flows as Remo stars star player is buried. Tears flow as Remo Stars player is buried. Coronavirus. Saudi Arabia suspends pilgrim visa. Iran's vice president infected. Um, you get that story on page seven. Now, policeman's lover dies during suspected sex romp in Ekiti. Hmm. Court dismisses Amber Day's bid to stop bus probe. Jilted lover jumps into Lagos Lagoon, rescued. Sad one there again. And then Ogun PDP suspends secretary, rubbishes Abuja peace meeting. That story can be found on page uh, 10. Quite some interesting headlines here. Um, above the master, what do we have? Federal government orders a forensic, forensic audit of discourse. Page 28. Federal government makes a U-turn, admits Boko Haram, Targeting Christians. Uh, page two is where you can find that story. And the Southwest Assemblies to pass a Motekun bill on Tuesday. How Saraki diverted Quara 10 billion naira. That's coming from the EFCC. And uh, finally, just beside the masthead, 21 killed as police and vigilantes battle Katsina bandits. And Bauchi government, governor heads PDP panel probing the 2019 election. Yes, uh, Mustafa, it's uh, quite um, uh, uh, a handful of headlines here. Uh, let, let's start with um, the Senate bill uh, that states that a repentant terrorists uh, are to enjoy foreign, enjoy foreign education. You know, when you say Senate bill, I think it's even misleading. It was a bill sponsored by an, a senator. It's not sponsored by the entire Senate. It has, be, it, has so it has to be passed. Yes. I think we should, you know, I, I don't like to be sensational, really. It's, it's a beep, it's not about an individual. So the sponsor, is, in, his name is Nof. The immediate passed the governor of Yobe State, mm. Ibrahim Gaidam. A B sponsored by Senator Ibrahim Gaidam. You say that clearly. So people will understand that it's an individual beer, which is still in a very formative stage. It has only passed. All the provisions, giving emphasis to it and all that, to me, is sensational. You get, you, you get the point? Yes, so it has not been passed, and I, I don't think the bill is going to be passed. I don't support that bill. I don't support it. it because if you say repeated book around people to enjoy foreign, foreign training and all that and all that, people can decide to take arms or join book around in order to enjoy this type of uh, Largest. You get the point. I think he just tried to copy what happened in the Niger Delta. You get this uh, repentant uh, militant. Mm -hmm. Some of them were taking it for training in, in I mean, yeah. abroad, yeah. you know, even up to now, they had CBP stipends. I think you can't compare the two. You cannot. To me, there is something wrong with Boko Haram members, I mean, surrendering, I mean, repenting. But even if you repent, you do as you say, if you have blood on your hand, you have to pay for it. Now, what even amazes me is that these are people that say Western education is forbidden. So yeah. taking them for, to foreign countries overseas abroad uh, for education, mm -hmm. and when they're killing people that are studying in, in, in Nigeria, I, I, do you think it's quite ironical for no, the senators to say if that? they say they had repented, which means they don't have believe they mean, they what they believe they before. Have they, have, they have changed. They don't believe in the ideology. So, yeah, if, you, if they see hold to the, hold the, hold to the fact that 
was the culture is, is forbidden, it means they have not repented. Those on the ground, for yeah. example, the Chibok girls, that maybe schools were destroyed or a school that have been destroyed in the north isn't part of Nigeria and they are still in Nigeria, they're not abroad. Don't you think it's unfair for students that were in, in Nigeria being deprived the of education and then these people taken abroad? Everything is wrong without the bill, really. I think the motivation is what I don't understand. I, 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 you see, we, should, we try to compare things and all that. It's good for them to, I mean, surrender. But not begin to say they have to benefit if they surrender, mm. give them education. It is, it's still, it repeat, they, they have been repeated militants for almost how many years now? They have been, when they repent, they, or that go through the recognition and all that, yeah. they had it over to the Borno State Governor. The state at that level can take care of them, monitor their, 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 their development. I mean, how, how they progress, their progression. Some who are, in, who are because some of them are really less than 10 years or 20 years or 15. Those who can go to primary school, that should be the service of the state government, not the federal. That is, that is, that is my belief. Right. The federal government is taking you abroad because you repent as a military, I mean, as a Boko Haram fighter. I don't think it's, it's proper. All right, let's, let's look at uh, this conversation around coronavirus. Saudi Arabia suspends pilgrim visa. Iran's vice president infected. I'm afraid. I'm sure this paper was printed before the release of a national List, yeah. So I'm sure it would have been Nigeria also records first case of it, coronavirus. It is in their online um, um, yeah, uh, okay. version. Uh, yeah. it, that of Iran. You know, two days ago, we were, we were, I mean, it was reported that even the country's deputy health minister tested positive. Hmm. Yesterday, the vice president. Vice president. That tells you how deep and serious that virus is in, 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 in Iran. There be, there be reports that it's, it's, even, it's even suppressing the numbers of those affected and the deaths. But we don't know yet. I don't have the information. But if the vice president could be infected and the, dep and the country deputy health minister, it yeah. tells you that that issue is very serious in that country. And the coronavirus is not a respecter of your position. No, it doesn't respect your position. It doesn't. No, it's not. And that's how you are human. It's not. You know, uh, quite some interesting uh, one here. Yes, let's, let's look at this before, before we look at the other paper. It says, um, Jilted Lover Jumps Into Lagoon, Lagos Lagoon, mm. Rescued. Uh, depression mm. is setting in. You know, I, you know, matters of the heart, uh, David. I don't want to <laughs> miss a comment this morning. So we ask, so we say, look, why did they even rescue him in the first place? If you're so foolish enough to jump into the lagoon because he lady jilted him, he should just go and, I mean, answer to go there. He should have done it quietly. I mean, you, you, you act because a lady jilted you, you jump into the lagoon. If I were his spirit, I would deal with him when, when he comes home. I mean, I'm sure the law, the law, the law will prosecute him. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. attempt to say it's, it's against the law. Yes. I, I, so, I, 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 government should prosecute him. Because. Are you sure he should not be going for rehabilitation, <laughs> not prosecution? This is someone who is coming from a mental health challenge, and you think he should face prosecution instead of rehabilitation? Now, the report says his lover jilted him, and he responds. He plugged into the lagoon. There's no depression there. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. See, if you, if you, in any case, I don't know how old, twenty. How would you say? About twenty-one years. About twenty-one. Yeah. Well, maybe because of that age, I know that he's still. He's still young and he's long. He's still young. Um, you know, he doesn't have the experience. He's still in touch. Yeah, so yeah so exactly. Still in, in, touch, so. in that wise, I may mean, decide to forgive him. He needs, to, you know, he needs to learn some rules. Yeah, yeah exactly. He exactly. You know, you don't you have, you don't have the experience in this matter. Yes, he's a learn some rules. Is it a lesson you have? I mean, I mean, you see, you see, tomorrow I'll not get juicy. Will he also jump again? You don't know what he, he just started. Through. He he might have gone through, a, you know, a lot Zika, financially. A lot you know. worse. At twenty-one, what could he have no, gone he through? No, he might have invested a lot on this job. Invested worse at twenty-one. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. If if see if people tell him they are serious about. Their love life. Mm. He, he said he just only one girl had you had so dated him now. <laughs> Some have dated by more than 15, 10 girls. So what is he talking about? So please let, let us go to that of Nigerian girls. Can we just look at it just for Zika? Interesting. Nigerian men. men, yes. Anyway, let's take a look at the Nigerian Tribune next. The major headlines.
or the headlines grace in the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. Why Boko Haram now targets Christians? This is coming from the federal government. That story is on page four. You want to take a look at it. And beneath that, Makinde Ibori, others, Pali, Bode George. I beg your pardon, I'll take that again. Makinde Ibori, others, Pali, Bode George Group on Lagos PDP crisis. UCH medical students idle as MD Khan strike enters day two. <sighs> Coronavirus scares the world. Saudi Arabia suspends entry for Umrah Olympics threatened. And there are a number of writers there. I'll take them one after the other. Yeah. A Nigerian Senate says no proactive measures in place. We saw that on a news update. Uh, once visitors from China quarantined, unfortunately, visitors from Italy were not quarantined. Oh. And we have a case, the first case in Lagos, Nigeria. Suspected Chinese patient tests negative in Lagos. A Merck's line, CMA, CGM, MSC, others face $1.7 billion revenue loss. Pope Francis sick a day after supporting coronavirus sufferers. Iran vice president infected. Friday prayer, other activities canceled. Trump puts vice president Pence in charge of US response team. Europa League match played indoors in Italy as virus spreads. All schools in Japan closed until April, hopefully before April. Uh, this coronavirus will be contained world mm. over. On top of the masthead, 820 buses caught OK's Lagos Assembly probe of Ambode. <coughs> Ex governor files appeal. Ogun governor pays nine month salary arrears of workers. Court nullifies impeachment of ex Kogi deputy governor Achuba. El Rafai committee gets power to probe discos. Remo Stars player Tiamiu buried. Uh, one of the topics we'll be looking at today. But um, interesting headlines here. I think we should begin with uh, many, many money. Okay, let's talk about the former governor of Lagos State. His name is making headlines uh, again on the front pages. Uh, on the news update, we, yeah. we heard where you know, the court said he had no right to appeal the case and all that. So what do you make about this 820 buses that he's been questioned? I think he... Former Governor Amode went to court when the House Assembly summoned it to explain uh, the purchase of 820 20, buses. Yes. Then he rushed to court to stop the probe. You see, there have been several decided cases on this matter. I was shocked when he went to court. The court have decided that you cannot stop the Assembly from doing its job. When you are someone, please go. Excuse if you are not properly I mean, handle that is, if they display bias, it did not give you fair hearing. They have contested. You cannot go to court and contest that. Mere someone shouldn't be challenged. They let them do their job. I have seen cases where even after the probe, the report was quashed by the court. But you cannot stop them from doing their job. If you are someone, please go there. We are not going to hide. Go and explain yourself. <coughs> if they are biased, and they come out with a fake report, so to say. You can go and challenge a report in court. Let us be, let us be clear about this. You know, so, I, know, I know sometimes too, people go to court just to buy time. That's where, even the appeal, I'm not sorry, it's this now, I don't want to say anything about it, but I don't <coughs> see anything coming out of it. Mm. This matter has been decided by the Supreme Court. You cannot stop that for doing the job. They, you can't stop the court from sitting. It's an arm of government, for God's sake. Mm. If anybody now goes to court to stop them from doing their job, what would they do? They can't do anything. Several cases have been decided on this matter. You know some lawyers too, when people come to you for a case, even when you know there is no case, you still take it to go to court because you want some money. It's wrong. You know, you know it's, 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 it just, for some people it could mean that uh, you have something you're hiding that you don't want to be investigated. When you, when you try to stop an investigation from being carried out, it just suggests that uh, there are some things that you don't want to be found out. That's why you're, you're trying to stop investigation. Yeah. Uh, which the, is buses, the buses purchased, I've seen some of them on the road. On the road, yes. I've seen, come with your documents. The court rightly said they have not found you guilty yet. That's what the court said yesterday. But is no, that, is that, mere, is that, mere invitation. Mm. 
is not pronounced as guilt. Mm. Now, is that something that um, Ambode knows uh, that um, Nigeria has the residents of Lagos don't know? Maybe, there's, maybe there is something he's afraid of. Uh, maybe there is something he's seeing uh, that um, he's afraid of. That's why he, he wants um, that investigation uh, probe to, to, be, to be halted. You know, it's, no matter what you are afraid of, uh, David, facts are sacred. If you have all your facts, you have all your documents in place to explain your action, you shouldn't be scared of anything. If after presenting all those your documents and your facts, the house still finds you guilty, so to say, then the public can now say, ah, what is the problem? You cannot go to court to challenge your decision. Mm. Let's, you let's, cannot preempt. Yes. Let, let's look at the genesis of this whole bus issue. How did it all start? Um, it came at a time when um, you know, it was having issues with, the, with, with, with some powers in the state. And then it was believed that um, we didn't get the express approval of the house to purchase those buses. So maybe that in itself is the issue. Yeah, this is, the, the, the assembly is claiming that the money, that the, the, you know, there was this uh, bail up, not bail up from uh, me. The uh, party loan party, reform party, yeah, party club loan. that Legacy got from the federal government, <coughs> it also captured with the budget. This claim that they did not approve the money for me to purchase Those buses. the buses. And he went ahead and purchased the buses. There was no proper procedure. Due, due process was there was no followed. due process. Yeah. He did the advertise. You know, you must advertise before you get the uh, invite bids from all that. All that they claimed. You get the point now. Yeah. You know, if you follow all this, go ahead and present your case. Maybe he feels he's he being know, so bullied, you know, looking at the fact that uh, some reporters are saying he was deprived of running a second time for the, you know, and then his guys turn their backs on him. We know his deputy also turned. Yeah, I, I, I read comments yesterday after this story, this story broke. Comments by some people that say, look, Sir, we, we, we did well for this, for this state, but just go ahead and clear yourself. You get the point. Go ahead. And, nobody is saying you are guilty already. He has some support. He, he did well in some areas as governor. You know, go ahead and clear yourself. Nobody has say, nobody is saying you are guilty yet. No. You know, if you appear before them and you are mistreated by them, mm. the public will see that these guys are determined for something. The switch on. But if you've not gone there, well, well, how will you people now know that? There's, there's a sinister motive. You got a point. Okay, so see what? this other headline, uh, still on uh, state assembly matters. A uh, court notifies the impeachment of ex Kogi deputy governor yeah. Simon Achuba. You That's see, on top of the masthead. <laughs> um, Zika, let me tell you this. Sometimes some of these our politicians do something that they know is illegal, not to achieve a purpose. Former deputy governor of Kogi State, Achuba, is out of the way. They knew that what they were doing was wrong. A committee was set up to investigate him. The committee, the committee found him innocent. Yeah. Yes. But the sea went ahead and he pitched him just to clear him out of the way before the elections. You get the point. They've achieved that. The man is out. What, at be, what will happen at best is that calculate his, his allowances Analysis. and you pay to him. But he's already out of the way. Yeah. And also, that record that he was impeached. Will be, be erased, erased now. Yes. Okay, we'll be erased. We'll be erased now. Erased, yeah. Because of the court decision. But they've already, it doesn't matter. They, it's not their money. They can just pay him off. They've got him out of the way. They won the election and they are there. So that is the truth. So some of times, too, when I saw that, what they did, you, a committee was set up by you, by the House of Assembly, to probe the deputy governor. The committee came up with a report saying that allegation against this man. Who could not be substantiated and they cleared him, yet they went ahead and impeached him. I'm happy that the court, I mean, decided that what he did was wrong. As it led to others, if they are ready to let anyway. Mm. No, another headline here before we move on is it's not really a headline, but it's a headline because uh, it comes under the uh, image of headline, but it's a rider, Pope Francis sick a day after supporting coronavirus sufferers. Uh, some are speculating that it could be coronavirus, but it's not a known fact yet. You know, in the media, sometimes uh, we insinuate who passes sick a day after supporting <laughs> 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 But they say it's showing symptoms. 
you see, it's a big man for you to begin to, you can't, you don't speculate such things. It is, uh, you know, don't spread, people should spread fear. The fact that this man has supported without virus victims openly, I think we should we will commend him for that. Yeah. Where some people are running away from them, in his own position, he came out to mm -hmm. say, we should show support to this people. Mm -hmm. I pray that he doesn't get to that. I pray that he, he doesn't text uh, positive for the virus. Right. Uh, you know, because it is said very wrong signal over there that mm -hmm. don't go near these people. Where are they? Are they? Uh, the, the good thing about Buddha virus is that the it's, good thing. it's not, uh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> what I'm saying. You know, if, if, for any bad situation, there is something good. Is that the death rate among those affected is very low. Survival rate is very high. It, it, has, it has to do with um, demography, age, 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 age limits. So I noticed yeah, that it is, yeah, yes. those in the age of 65, 70, 75 die from the infection. Yes. You know? But others who, whose immune system is still very high. Yeah, and survive it, it yes. Are we good with that? We're, go we're done with that. Okay, so let's look at the nation newspaper. Uh, virtually, um, seem like same, same, same and same. But let's start with uh, power crisis. Government launches forensic inqu inquiry into discos. Um, the writer there says, um, governors seek briefing on $5.8 billion Mambila power projects. Um, there's an excerpt there I want to read to your hearing. It says, um, you all know... You all know that the issue of privatization is still questionable, <coughs> but nonetheless, the federal government <coughs> and governors feel we should look for solution. Uh, that's coming from the governors themselves. Well, let's move on. Uh, Buari didn't call me for seven months, uh, says Lee, Lee Sharibu's mom. You know, the other paper uh, we had um, said something about, uh, talked about, um, yes, it says, um, where, where is that story now? I think he alluded to the fact that um, Buari called the parents of um, Lee Sharibu for seven months. But um, here on the nation, the mother is saying Buari didn't call me for seven months. That's um, Lee Sharibu's mom. Let's go uh, right in the middle page there. Coronavirus, agency halts lesser arch, said it false measures at airport. And then above the masthead, EFCC, Seraki diverted Quara's 10 billion naira. The writer there says it's all lies. Um, coronavirus case in Lagos as Italian test positive. And the court okays Ambodes probe over 820 buses. Ex governor appeals. And then the picture. At uh, right there, the picture of the day. What do we have there? It says some emergency workers and a halted train at Ida Oberstein station in Germany after the passenger showed possible virus symptoms yesterday. Now, if you look at that picture, you could see uh, some level of readiness there. The emergency team are all out there, and then the train, I'm sure. Every passenger on that train would have to go through uh, some, some checks. Okay, well, um, lowest trip there before I let you go. Igalo's cause for Man U. And um, Jill Tedman in Bosch Suicide Beat on Todd Midland Bridge. We saw that in another paper. Um, Musa Issa, let's stay with this um, power crisis. Government launches forensic inquiry into discos. To what, to what effect would this be? Now, um, if discos are private companies now. Yes. Does the government have the power to prove that? Exactly. I don't know. I, I'm just, I want to get details of that. Yes. That well, if, if, no, they go, are, if they are private entities. Are they total? For, for this, they, federal government cannot say they want to go and prove a um, global call. Global call, for mm. instance, or MTN. No. This, this course, are not, they, are, they are private companies. I know they that. Are supposed, I know, they are supposedly, supposedly private, private companies. I yes. know that federal government still has about 40% share. Yes. In those, but it doesn't, that is minority share. Mm. Those who have majority share, you cannot come and say you want to prove. But as a shareholder in this course, the government can say, okay, let us use our position at their um, stakeholders meeting or AGM. Yeah. 
to call for a probe. Well, I, not that I support this course, eh, because they just dance the law without giving us light. Uh, uh, but this probe thing, I pray that something comes out of it, whether it's illegal or illegal. But the truth of the matter is that the way we did the privatization was 40 from the beginning. True. I said it on Wednesday that ordinarily, when you want to privatize, you look out for two major fact, two major things. The technical know-how of the bidders and their financial strength. strength. Did we take this two five two account before giving out this uh, I mean uh, um, um, Nepal to this to the the obviously the answer the answer the answers are no the answer is so no. So now uh, if you look at details of that agreement, if you if you if you the agreement you violated or if you say you want to terminate it. Yes. Eight billion. There is huge penalty. Eight billion. The African government will pay. How should somebody sign that kind of agreement? Now they are not doing well we can't yet to can't terminate the, 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 the contract. Agreement, the contract. So it's it's it's, 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 it's a a So now the federal yeah. government discourse and then we will be at the brunt. Disco, you play music, we dance, <laughs> but there's no life. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no disco to play. The, the only the only answers that Nigerians want to see. The only answers we want to see is we want to see light. That's it. You know, there, there, was, there was a joke um, I heard last year. Um, you know, each time federal government will say, by the year 20 something, mm. we are going to get 30,000 megawatts. By the year so so and so, we'll get 70,000 megawatts. Ah. What can I just say? Government, I beg, I beg, I beg. Please, can you please keep your megawatts and give me light? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really, you see, Nations that enjoy constant power supply. Their cities don't even know how many megawatts they have. They have. All they know is that power is regular, it's constant. When they want to even take life for some minutes, they announce it first ahead to make preparations. You know, um, I was in uh, Geneva six years ago, and a friend of mine who lives there, he said, I came in here over 80 years ago. From that time to date, to that, to that which says ago, light had gone off. Uh, his son was then 12 years old. Since he was born, light <coughs> had not gone off. Now he was not asking me, how would I pay this my son to Nigeria? Nigeria. Now? How would I explain to him that light can go off? I said, please, he better prepare his mind though. You can't, you can't, you can't so some of these countries reality. you refer to uh, have moved away from hydro, or they have more than hydro uh, a way of generating. You diversify. What stops us from moving away from You hydro? diversify. No, hydro is still the cheapest. Let me, let me explain that. Let me explain what I mean. Uh, initial events is very huge to build the dam and all that yeah. and all that. But maintenance, you know, thermal stations, those that use gas, mm. you must need gas to power them. Constantly, but in, if um, dam, I mean um, hydro, we need the water. It's only when maybe during the dry season, where the water is low, yeah. level, that, level drops. Uh, yeah. Level drops that you, the, 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 the generation power might just decrease. It's still the cheapest, really. But even at that, because of some certain things, you diversify your sources of power. Hydro, um, mm -hmm. gas, even uh, solar, so yeah. that. If something happens, you can still have light constantly. So even some um, they use the um, nuclear. Yeah. You get the point. But countries now even have this. No, they may need thirty thousand megawatts. They still have extra twenty thousand as a reserve. I hear in Germany, Just in case something happens. Individuals even sell power, sell power to government <laughs> in Germany. Anyway, okay. Yeah. So let's, um, let's take a look at what the Vanguard says. Let's take a look at the headlines on the front page of the Vanguard. The major one says, Nigeria at risk of coronavirus. Uh, this we've is, gone past uh, that. Yes, we've gone past this headline. But it's sad because early this morning, like we told you in the morning, as we were sleeping, we, we, we saw this, the, the news that coronavirus is in Lagos. But um, the, the, from the Senate, it says, federal government not doing enough. Ask federal government to quarantine travelers from China. And the traveler came in from Italy. Oil price drops $5 below 2020 hmm. budget benchmark. 
Insecurity, religion not behind killings and banditry. This is coming from Archbishop Kaigama. On the Naira watch, Naira appreciates to 365, 365 Naira 22 combo per dollar in the IME window. Uh, beneath the picture of the day, court okays Lagos Assembly to probe Bambo Day 2023. APC should be ready for eviction in Lagos. This is coming from Shea Day. And then the writer says, it will take more than stillborn unity to take Lagos. Coming from APC replying to uh, Shea Makinde, Governor Shea Makinde. Boko Haram targeting Christians to trigger religious war, says Lai Mohammed. If you remember on the Nigerian Tribune, uh, it also talks about um, why Boko Haram targets Christians. And apparently, this answers it. Boko Haram targeting Christians to trigger religious war. Uh, this is coming from the Minister of Information, uh, Lai Mohammed. APC crisis, pro-anti-Oshomole pro protesters clash in Abuja. Now, the picture of the day talks about the book, book launch on Buhari's distinctive legacies. And then above the masthead, 2023, El Rufai's power shift to South Comment raises dust. Gridlock. Reps move to probe alleged extortion at Lagos ports. Uh, State of the nation, Nigeria on the brink. And this is coming from some eminent Nigerians. Federal government facilitates $20 million tech fund, $90 billion agripreneur loan. Uh, OK, let's see which one have we touched here. Uh, let's go back to the comment of Nasir El Rafai uh, sometime last week when he said he thinks the power, oh, he, he thinks power, yeah, should return to the south, south. without mentioning the, what part of south it is. And uh, it's raising dust. Is it not expected that it raises dust? Yeah, um, whether the dust is positive or negative, I wouldn't know because, as I said, was it Monday I said, I said, look, the the fire was being touted as one of the presidential aspirants in 2023. And he's from Kaduna from the north, northwest. Now he says power should shift to the south. That means he had dropped his ambition. ambition. But some are saying, look, the person who wants to support the south, the person wants to pick him as his vice. You know, that they have this yes. group meeting and all that and all that. But let's look at the merit of what he said. Um, you know, Ordinarily, I don't subscribe to um, rotational whatever power, uh, you know. But as Nigeria is today, because of our fragile unity, we can still do some power rotation, even if for the sake of giving people that sense of belonging. You get the point now, uh, because um, in the U.S., for instance, you have how many? British aspirants from the Democratic DC now, about eight or they left. Yeah. Nobody has nobody has asked where they, they, they are from. They are just Americans. They are talking about the, the merit. And if you look what their debate, nobody talks about power shift. And by the way, when you say power shift, it means the presidency is the power. All, all other producers, there's no power there. Powerless. Powerless, so to say. You know, that tells you that our major problem in this country is that presidency is too powerful. People, that's why people are clamoring for devolution of power. Let's make that center unattractive. unattractive. Give more powers to the states so that you and I uh, will be showing interest in what happens in our states. If you look at our reports, Chile newspaper, for instance, almost all the reports border on federal government. Nobody talks about the state. That's why anywhere you go, even there's gridlock here now. Ah, Buhari is the cause of it. You know, right. it's simply because yes. he has all the power, yes. but it shouldn't be. Okay, I think that is noted. Uh, let's let's move on. We still have a few um, papers to to analyze. Um, let's look at the West Africa business news. Major headline, Senate probes CBN banks over 30% lending 
um, rates. Um, Kogi 2019, PDP had no candidate, court declares. Boko Haram attacking Christians to trigger religious war. That's um, federal government raises alarm. We saw that in a few other papers. Bielsa, APC urges supporters to accept Supreme Court decision. Amber Day loses bid to stop probe by lawmakers over purchase of 820 buses. APROM, Buari pledges support for second country review. Imperative of overhauling Nigeria's security agencies. Uh, uh, you can find that on the back page of uh, the West African News. When we go above the masthead, what do we have? COVID-19, the porosity of airports rattles the National Assembly. Alice Fraud, ex INEC boss, Maurice Ewu seeks transfer of case due to old age. Mm. Mr. Faisal, which of these stories triggers your fancy? Uh, this Ewu, in that, case, yes. uh, what has age got to do with uh, prosecution. Um, prosecution? Once you have certified fit enough to stand trial, I have seen people who. You can even sit for trial. I've seen people, people who trial. go on wheelchair. On wheelchair, sorry. To face trial. Yes. On wheelchair. Once you are, you can understand what the judge is saying. And you start trial. Age had nothing to do. It's all, it's all a defense. It's been tried in Lagos. The matter was you said in Lagos because most of the financial transactions in court took place in Lagos here, not Abuja. Why you going for Abuja? Is not is it based in Abuja? And I understand he is from Imo State. Yeah. So I don't know what that means. I think. It should, it should call for a speedy trial, not delayed. Because Matthew's case took almost more than four years yeah. to conclude. It should, it should, yeah. So let's quickly take a look at the Nigerian pilots before we uh, see the sports. Uh, for the Nigerian pilots, federal government raises a lamb. And the writer says, Bo uh, says Boko Haram attack Christians to divide Nigeria declares that Buhari has no plans, excuse me, to persecute Christians, begs religious leaders not to fall for Boko Haram's war antics, assures that troops are winning the war against insurgents. And beneath the picture, Buhari incompetent, says Nigerians in diaspora. Nigeria is sliding towards bankruptcy, says PDP. Trouble for Nigeria as oil prices drop $5 below 2020 budget. Excess crude accounts depletes to $72 million. Another man jumps into Lagos Lagoon rescued. Purchase of 820 cars. Ambody loses bid to stop probe by lawmakers. The bottom strip, federal government to carry out forensic audits of bank accounts of discos. And then beneath the masthead, Lee Sharibu's mother takes case to British Prime Minister. And finally, Julius Berger destroys underground cables at Second Niger Bridge. This is coming from the EEDC, and that is school company. Anyway, that's it all on the Nigerian pilots. David? Yes, yeah, so quickly, let's look a bit at a bit of sports, the nation's sport in life. Um, battle against Syria alone, Ian Acho Balogun set to return. Uh, and then uh, my United five. Um, Club Rouge Zero, um, six on aggregate. Odio Igalo dedicates goal to late sister Mary. Opens account at Man United. Um, at the top of the master, what we have? Permanent deal. Inter Milan to sign Victor Moses for four billion naira. Chelsea to make decision early May. Uh, Ariza Balaga to lead eight player Chelsea clear out. De Brune won't leave Man City. Fury sets to fight Joshua in autumn if Dante Wilder accepts step aside money. Eto, Terrible West, one of the toughest defenders I ever faced. Uh, and then quite, quite a number of, um, of um, headlines there on uh, the nation's sport in life. But unfortunately, uh, let me just look at, seek your, 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 your position on Odioni Gallo. He has finally um, put a goal through for Man, Man United. I think that is um, a good record. Not a bad uh, one. 
is um, the good books of uh, the Man United uh, um, manager now. Yeah. And, and he's doing well. He's doing well. Uh, he's, he started well. Uh, I pray that his performance will attract uh, more players to Nigeria players to um, Man United. I think he's doing well. Uh, yeah. So you should keep it up. So he's more or less, he's, he's silenced his critics of to a large extent. Of course. Did he really have any critics? I think Nigeria oh, yes, even even in even even in England. In the, okay, in England, yeah. yeah. Of, not in Nigeria. Not but in Nigeria. In England, yeah. Yes. Because they said that he didn't have what um, they think. Um, what it the, takes to what, play what for. What man you need at this point in time. Okay. Yeah. So, but th that's about it. That's Those guys will not tell us what it takes now to score. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Mustafa Isa, head of news, uh, Silver News Twenty Four. News Twenty Four. Thank you for being with us on the program this morning. Hey, welcome, David. Yes, uh, uh, we'll, we'll take a break. When we'll come back, we'll be looking at. Um, our conversation is our open day, um, so get your, your phones ready to call in and make contributions on the subject matters that we've intimated you or oh, We're looking at uh, education, okay, we're looking at uh, power sector, and what are the third ones, Jika? Immunity for National Assembly. Immunity for National Assembly. Uh, so that's about it. Um, so don't go away, just stay with us.